15 things you didn't know about Lotus. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about British luxury, sport and racing automobile manufacturer Lotus. Lotus was formed as Lotus Engineering Limited in 1952 by Colin Chapman and Colin Dare after they graduated from University College in London. The first factory was located in a set of old stables in North London, and many of the workers volunteered their services in the beginning. Team Lotus formed a separate division in 1954 and was highly successful in Formula One racing from 1958 to 1994 and 2012 to 2015. Since 1966, Lotus has operated out of the village of Hathel in Norfolk, England. Early production was geared toward private racers and among its earliest cars for the public were the Elite, Seven, Elan and Europa. In 1983, the year after the founder Colin Chapman died, the struggling company was sold to a group of British investors led by David Wickens, who became known as the Savior of Lotus. In 1986, Lotus was co-owned by General Motors and Toyota, but GM acquired a 91% stake in the company and forced a buyout, taking full control. Lotus was sold three more times, in 1993 to ACBN Holdings SA, who also owned Bugatti, in 1996 to a Malaysian car company called Proton, and finally to a Chinese automobile company called Geely in 2017. Lotus has had a long history, and although they have struggled at times, they have also produced some of the most beautiful, luxurious, and powerful cars on the market, including their current models of the Lotus Elise, XD Jess, and Evora. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Lotus has big plans for the future and is worth keeping an eye on, so let's take a closer look with the 15 things you didn't know about Lotus. Number 1. Chapman started Lotus with a 25-pound loan from his girlfriend. Colin Chapman founded the Lotus Engineering Company back in 1952 and borrowed the money to make his first car from his girlfriend at the time, Hazel Williams. She gave him a loan of 25 pounds, which would be about 300 US dollars at today's valuation. Later, Hazel and Colin were married, and the company eventually made them millionaires, so it was definitely a wise investment on Hazel's part. Number 2. The letters on the logo are the founder's initials. The four letters in the middle of the logo are ACBC, which are the initials of one of the founders, Anthony Colin Bruce Chapman. At the time the logo was created, Colin Chapman was working with brothers Michael and Nigel Allen, and he told them that the initials stood for Colin Chapman and the Allen brothers, when in reality he designed the logo to represent his name only. Number 3. The Lotus F1 team organized a record-breaking truck jump. In November 2014, the Lotus F1 team staged a stunt to promote their Redefining Motorsports campaign. It involved a semi-truck flying through the air over a Lotus F1 racing car. The semi-truck jumped a total of 83 feet 7 inches, setting a world record. The drivers of the semi-truck and the Lotus F1 have worked as professional stunt drivers in a number of movies, including the Fast and the Furious series, the James Bond, and the Bourne films. Number 4. Lotus was purchased by Chinese company Geely for $130 million. The Zhejiang Geely Holding Group is a highly successful Chinese multinational automotive manufacturing company. Geely owns 51% of Lotus Cars and the Lotus Engineering Consultancy Firm as of May 2017, and Malaysian group Atika owns the other 49%. Geely paid over $130 million for the majority stake of the British car brand. Geely previously bought Volvo for just under $2 billion back in 2010, and it also owns the London Taxi Company. Number 5. Lotus Plans on Releasing an SUV in 2017, Lotus CEO Jean-Marc Gall announced that the company would be looking to expand into other segments, including the SUV market. He said the Lotus SUV would be light, aerodynamic, and would handle like nothing else. He further states that there will be an opportunity to create a new visual identity for Lotus for their global SUV segment. 
No further details are available at the moment, but this is definitely something Lotus lovers will want to have on their radar. Number 6. Lotus was heavily involved with the development of the Tesla Roadster. The Tesla Roadster is a battery electric vehicle sports car that was produced by Tesla Motors from 2008 to 2012. The electric car was based on the Lotus Elise, and Lotus provided advice for designing and developing the vehicle. They also produced partly assembled Roadsters at their plant. The Roadster has a 6% parts overlap with the Lotus Elise. A new Roadster is expected to be produced in 2019. Number 7. Lotus's founder would have likely gone to jail if he hadn't died. In 1978, Lotus partnered up with American John DeLorean to develop a stainless steel sports car called the DeLorean DMC-12 that would be built in a factory funded by the British government. Chapman got in some very hot water when around 10 million pounds of UK government subsidies went missing in the course of the project. Before the case could go to trial, Chapman died of a heart attack on December 16, 1982, but the judge in the case said that Chapman would have had to serve at least 10 years if he had lived. Number 8. The Elise model sales almost equal the sales of every other Lotus model combined. The Lotus Elise was introduced in 1996 and has been one of the best-selling Lotus models ever since. The Elise was named after the granddaughter of Romano Artioli, who was the chairman of Lotus and Bugatti at the time of the car's launch. From 1996 to 2014, a total of 31,624 Elise cars were sold. The total number of every other car sold in the company's history up until 2014 is 33,378. Lotus says they're working on a new generation Elise and hope to release it in 2020. Number 9. Lotus cancelled production of their Lotus Ethos hybrid vehicle. The Lotus Ethos is a fully plug-in hybrid concept car that was introduced by Lotus at the 2010 Paris Motor Show. It was developed by the Lotus Engineering Division with a top speed of 110 miles per hour and a battery pack that works for up to 310 miles with the help of an onboard generator. Although it was developed with the intention of being put into production and sold for around $40,000, the project was ultimately cancelled. Number 10. James Bond's Lotus Esprit submarine sold for over $650,000. In the 1977 film The Spy Who Loved Me, James Bond drives a one-of-a-kind Lotus Esprit submarine. In reality, the car cannot be driven on land but is fully functional in submarine mode. The iconic car was found in a New York storage container that was purchased for only $100. In 2013, it was sold at an auction in London for 550,000 British pounds, which is around 650,000 US dollars. The most expensive Bond car sold to date is a 1964 Aston Martin DB5 that was used in both Goldfinger and Thunderball. It was sold in 2010 for $4.6 million. To find out more about the car company, click in the upper right hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Aston Martin. Number 11. Lotus partnered up with Jaguar and others to create the limo green. Lotus partnered up with Jaguar, Mira Limited, and Capara with the goal of producing a luxury hybrid executive sedan, which they called Limo Green. The car was built on the basis of the Jaguar Executive Saloon and offered 57 miles per gallon and less than 120 grams per kilometer CO2 emissions while maintaining the look and feel of a premium driving experience. The project was funded by the British government, and although it's a concept vehicle, both Jaguar and Lotus have implemented some of its green technology in other car models and plan to implement it even more in the future. Number 12. Lotus was the first F1 team to have a corporate sponsor. In 1968, sponsorship of F1 race cars was permitted for the first time, and Colin Chapman was the first to take advantage of this opportunity. He signed an £85,000 a year deal, which is around $800,000 US at today's valuation, with Imperial Tobacco. Many were shocked when at the Monaco Grand Prix, Lotus's traditional British racing green livery had been replaced by paintwork resembling gold leaf cigarette packs. But many F1 teams quickly followed in Chapman's footsteps, and today over $1 billion is spent on F1 sponsorships annually. Number 13. 
there is a one-of-a-kind full carbon version of a Lotus Elise. In 2008, TW Auto Limited of Hong Kong were commissioned to build an all-carbon fiber version of the 2002 Type 72 JPS Lotus Elise. This one-of-a-kind vehicle took six months to make and was then presented to its owner, car enthusiast Jimmy Wong. Both the interior and exterior are made purely of carbon fiber, making the car weigh about 80 pounds less than the already super light original Elise. Number 14. Only five Lotus Evora GTE models were produced. Swiss Beats, a rapper and producer who's also married to singer Alicia Keys, was named Vice President of Creative Design for the Lotus Company back in 2011. One of his first projects was designing the Lotus Evora GTE, of which only five were made. The special edition Evora GTE came with a ruby red paint job with chrome accents and an engine with 444 horsepower. It could go from 0 to 60 in just 4.5 seconds and is also 231 pounds lighter than the standard Evora. Swiss Beats did give his wife Alicia a Lotus for her birthday that year, but she wasn't one of the lucky five to take possession of this incredible car. She got a Lotus Elise instead. Number 15. In the history of the company, less than 100,000 Lotus cars have been sold. Lotus's entire production run from 1957 to 2016 totals around 96,000 vehicles sold. After hitting a recent low of just 420 units sold back in 2012, Lotus has rebounded a bit with sales of around 800 units both in 2015 and 16. Specifically, 874 Lotus models were sold in 2016, but with their new ownership, Lotus hopes to boost production up to 3,000 units per year. Now that you've learned more about Lotus, we'd like to know, do you think Lotus is making the right choice by developing an SUV, or should they stick to the sports cars they're known for? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. The Lotus Evora was introduced in 2008 as the first Lotus with luxury interior. The car attracted a lot of attention, especially from many celebrities judging by the names on the waitlist before the car was available. Among those who committed to buying the car sight unseen the year before it hit the showrooms were Jay Leno, Pierce Brosnan, Daniel Craig, George Clooney, Beyonce, Dave Grohl, Kelly Rowland, Patrick Dempsey, and Jennifer Lopez. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.